we've got OPEC Plus that's cutting on the one side and China reopening after ending zero COVID on the other side. That tells me that there's a lot of pressure to the upside. And we're going into the summer driving season. Yeah, no, it's a great point. I think the China reopening, as bad as it is for oil prices, it's phenomenal for the global economy, right? You're starting to see uh, copper prices have gone up a lot, steel prices have gone up a lot, which just speaks to the fact that they're back in business and they're going to buy a lot of goods and services from across the world. So it actually makes me more optimistic that you have this second largest economy in the world, one of the biggest consumers now uh, is going to be buying goods and services. So I think overall, that makes me more optimistic, even if oil prices happen to go up a little bit. If you see the inflationary pressures hitting the economy from the oil side of things and gasoline prices, which has already helped us get to 6% on CPI year over year. Yep. Does that tell you that the Fed is going to pause? There's about a 58% chance right now that the Fed is going to only do a quarter point in May or June. Not both, but right. one. Yeah, I mean, I think you can almost flip a coin right now. I'm, you know, I always lean on the optimistic side, and I feel like the Fed here may actually pause. Uh, next month and because I think at this point look you just saw producers paid uh, price index paid that was down that's a that's a disinflationary sign commodities in general down like 13 percent year over year uh, the Fed's favorite gauge of uh, uh, CPI was down on Friday the PCE so it's kind of like you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows I'm from Philly I keep it really simple <laughs> and it's like look inflation's coming down wages are staying strong and wages over inflation now are growing like I'm not a rocket scientist but that's the sign of a soft landing that everyone on Wall Street doesn't want to acknowledge and they've been dead wrong so it's kind of like embrace the fact that things are getting better